Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will do a tutorial for eight angle pose. Eight angle pose is a really cool arm balance where you need core strength, you need open hips as well as stretched hamstrings. And as with all other arm balancing poses, it's really important to warm up the wrists. So if you haven't already and you want to practice with me, then please press pause and warm up your wrists a little bit and then we are ready to start. All right guys, what I forgot, please subscribe to my channel if you like this tutorial. I mean, now you can't already say much about the tutorial, but please subscribe and let's go. As I mentioned before, we need open hips. So a really good drill, a really good drill to warm up the hips and to open up a little bit is to keep one leg straight. I start with the left leg, keep the foot engaged and then you bring the right foot into the left elbow pit. I don't know how to call it in English. You place it here and then the other arm around, you can interlace your fingers and then it's like you're wiggling a baby. Try to keep the back straight, left foot engaged and then maybe the movement becomes bigger and bigger and then you can do the same on the other side. Why we need to do this is because we are starting in elephant pose. If you want to work on the eight angle pose, this is really a good start to work on your strength and also on lifting, pushing yourself up. The higher you're able to bring your leg, the easier it becomes. So you need open hips and then you need to push yourself up into this elephant pose. If you want, you can grab two blocks. It's not necessary, but you get some extra height. In my case, this would be something really cool. <laughs> and then bring the leg on your shoulder. And this really close to you, not too far away. So maybe three centimeters to the side. And then if you have never done this before, you can keep the extended leg or the extended foot actually on the mat or on the, on the floor and then you just lift your butt up. Holding here, maybe you already feel it in your core, in your arms, shoulders, holding here for five, four, three, two, one, and slowly release. This would be the first drill I would recommend you. Always do both sides, obviously. All right, the next thing is to push yourself up and then try to lift the extended leg up. Point your toes. So this is from the elephant, uh, the rustle, the nose, the rein. <laughs> and you stay here and you can already feel it in your core. Hopefully, I, I feel it. Keep your arms straight. It's always easier because if your elbows are bent, it's so much harder to straighten them than if they're already extended. So you really try to push yourself up, straightening the legs. And this would be drill number two. If you have managed to hold your elephant pose with blocks or without, then you're ready to come into eight angle. So it's the same preparation. You push yourself up, keep the arms straight, and then you interlace your feet, if you can say that. You decide which foot is above. You can just try it out. You bend your elbows, so you need really strong chaturanga arms, and it's like working with a seesaw, you know, shifting the weight, from one side to another. So if I lean to the left, I balance out with my legs and then you see that the upper leg is on my triceps. So the inner thigh is on my triceps, so it looks like this. You're not jumping into the pose, you're leaning to the left and at the same time you're lifting your legs up. So it's the same with crow pose, you're jumping forward, you lean forward and the moment you get this momentum where your feet lift up, and it's the same with eight angle pose. So coming up, interlacing your feet and then shifting weight from the side, placing the right thigh on my right triceps and then try to straighten the legs and keep the shoulders parallel. You decide which feet is up on top and then you can also add some other arm balancing poses. Playing a little bit around and if you want, you can come back into elephant and lower down. Really good core exercise, guys. If 
you don't have the strength, just add the drills to your practice, do some core work, and then I hope to see you soon on the mat, maybe in one of my arm balancing workshops, where we can talk a little bit more about this. Leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and see you next time, my friends. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs>